second. So Thank the Rockies, guys. the Rockies have two All Stars so far. They've got DJ LeMayhew, a little surprising, and of course Nolan Arenado, both named to the team by the National League manager uh, Bruce Bochy. Uh, too low can be voted in. He's one of five National Leaguers that can earn the vote, uh, and the, the votes, uh, the uh, results will be announced on Friday. I don't understand why Tulo's not in the game anyway. I don't understand why he wasn't named to the All-Star team. Frankly, Wood, I think he deserves to be there not just more than LeMahieu, much more than LeMahieu. I'm, I'm happy for DJ. I'm happy for DJ, his first All-Star appearance. Tulo should be there. It's going to be a tough call because the five people that are up for the last spot include Clayton Kershaw. And I don't know how you can leave him, three-time Cy Young Award winner, MVP in the National League. I know he's struggling a little bit, but wouldn't you want, wouldn't you want in a game that actually is going to determine the home field advantage to have a guy who actually could pitch a couple innings for you? And when Clayton Kershaw struggles, it's usually in the fifth, sixth inning when teams have gotten accustomed to his, uh, his pitching style. He is leading the National League in strikeouts, but everything else is just pedestrian. Well, there's a new statistic called, uh, well, it involves strikeouts, walks, and homers. And I don't really understand where that one came from, but he's number one in the league in, the, in that category. But he is leading the league in strikeouts. Yeah. He, he is struggling at times against the Rockies. A couple of times he struggled, but I, it's going to be tough, I think, for Tulo to beat him out. I don't know why. I mean, he, he leads all National League shortstops in average, in doubles, in on-base percentage, in slugging percentage, in OPS. He's second in RBIs. Now, he's fourth in homers. His, his power numbers are a little bit down. But no shortstop is knocking the ball out of the park at, at, at a much greater rate. And his defense is still stellar. Yeah. He should have been named to the team. This shouldn't come down to a vote. I, I'm, I'm so surprised by that. And I hate to make comparisons, but LeMahieu has really struggled at the plate for the last month and a half. Yeah. He went from leading the league in hitting to now he's below 300. And he's a gold glover. He was last year. So he should deserve a great deal of consideration. And I think he belongs on the team. But Tula Whiskey definitely belongs on the team. Absolutely. He is one of the top four or five players in the entire National League. So I'm hoping that the voters who... A lot of people have complained about the voters lately uh, because of what they did with the Royals. I hope those same voters uh, get out, particularly people in Colorado. You you should be feel embarrassed that you didn't have him closer to the top. I mean, he he ended up fourth, third, yeah. something like that. Yeah. He belonged in the he, to be voted in. Now he certainly belongs to be on the deserves to be on the yeah, team. Yeah, I think Rockies I think fans let him down. I, I think the rainouts had a lot to do with that. There are a lot of people that didn't come to the games because of all yeah. the rain we had in April and May. But but Let's still, play. you know, do what Kansas City did. Step up to the plate, to use a baseball term. Step up to the plate, Rockies fans. Anybody else? Uh, uh, you may have it, and forgive me, I didn't participate in the questioning, but A-Rod? Mm. I'm kind of glad he's not going. Me too. Yeah. So I wish we could have a disagreement there, but yeah. do I care? No. I don't care if he was there. Okay. Nah. If he's not there, fine. He shouldn't be rewarded for all nah. that he's gone and through. I think if he's there, he deflects from a How lot about of good this? stuff. This would be good, the best thing. Let's put Clayton Kershaw on one of the teams and Troy Tulowitzki on the other two. Well, I, just so you know, I'm not with you on the Clayton Kershaw okay. thing, and I'm going to deal with that a little later in the show. First segment brought to you by the Harmony Foundation, Colorado's premier treatment oh. program for drug and alcohol addiction. It's located just outside of Estes Park. They're on a very private 45-acre mountain campus, very serene, very idyllic. Uh, they are insurance-friendly, so visit HarmonyFoundationInc.com for more information.